what is arc length? Arc length is the length of an arc that's part of the circumference. Now I don't want you to get confused between arc measure and arc length. Arc measure is in relation to 360 and that relates back to your central angle. So if I were to draw an angle from A to P to B, and let's say this angle was 120 degrees, we know, we learned that AB has a measure of 120 also, but that's not its length. The length is relation, in related to how big the circle is or how small the circle is. Okay, so we're talking actual measure or the length of the arc, okay, which is a part of the circumference, and that's where this formula comes from arc length of AB, and this is a very simple formula, you're going to take the measure of arc AB. So you are going to need to know that central angle so you know the arc measure as a fraction of the circle. So as a fraction of 360 times 2 pi r. Well what is 2 pi r? 2 pi r is really just circumference or d pi. Okay? So you can plug in circumference if you know it, you can use 2 pi r, or you can use d pi. All of those are interchangeable in this formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the circumference and then we're going to multiply it by the fraction of the circle. So if you only know part of it, you would just take a fraction of that circle. So let's look at a couple examples here and how they go back to this formula up here. Okay, so I've got a circle and the radius is 5 and I'm, I've got an angle measure of 50. So if I figured out the circumference, circumference is equal to d pi, so that would just be, well, radius is 5, so diameter is 10. So the circumference is just simply 10 pi. But that's all the way around. I don't want to know this distance all the way around. I just want to know a part of that. Okay, that's where this fraction comes in. Well, I only have 50 degrees out of 360 degrees. So you're going to take 50 over 360 times d pi or 10 pi. So let's simplify that. Okay, both of them have zero so I can divide by 10 and just cancel the zeros out. So 5 over 36 times 10 pi over 1, right? We always have it over 1. So I have 50 pi over 36 and that will reduce um, both are divisible by 2, so what's that going to be? 25 over 18 pi, or 25 pi over 18, and that would be in inches. And there we go, and that's an exact length. So if you're asked for exact lengths, you're going to keep it in terms of pi and no decimals, and that's your answer. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this next one out. Okay, this time we're given the diameter. So what's the circumference part of the formula? That's just 34 pi. So I'm going to take the measure over 360 times the circumference, where circumference is d pi, so I'm just going to stick in a 34 pi right there. Okay, now let's write the angle. We're trying to find the arc length of AB. So what's the measure of that arc? Well, it's the same as the central angle, so it's going to be 150 over 360 times 34 pi. Okay, I don't I think I wrote that twice. Sorry about that. Okay, divide by 10. I'm just going to cancel the zeros out. Now I can also divide by 3, can I? So if I divide by 3, I'm going to get 5 twelfths times 34 pi and 5 times 34. I don't know that one. 170 over 12 pi. Okay, now 170 over 12 will reduce, so let's go back in, and that reduces to 85 6. Okay, it's going to be 85 over 6 pi, and that's centimeters. Okay, so you're getting the hang of it. It's a fairly straightforward process. We're just kind of plugging.